Hi and welcome to another video by me, Flojo. Today we are going to be looking at the float function on Power Automate. So in our scenario today we're going to be using a TV of $249.99 but the actual amount has come through as a string. And what we want to do is we want to convert this to a float so that we can use the decimal place to maintain the dot 99 and then obviously we can go on to do some math say reduce it by 10% because there's a sow or something similar. So to achieve this what we need to do is we need to use the float function we need to pass in our variable the string into this and then we get a return of 249.99 as a float value. So let's see this in action on Power Automate then. Okay, so we're on the Power Automate website. I've got a manual trigger to trigger our flow example. And to mimic what we were talking about earlier of having a string come through as a float value, what I'm doing is I'm setting up a string of TV and I'm setting the value of that string to 249.99. Now what we want to do is we want to decrease the cost of the TV by 10% due to the Black Friday sale. So what we need to do then is convert it to a float. So all we're doing here is we're passing in the variable of TV, the string, into float, which will convert it. And then I'm just performing some math here where I'm uh, passing in the value of the float in a sub function and then I'm working out the 10% to reduce the 10% from the actual uh, amount using the subtraction function. So let's actually take this for a spin. Okay, so our flow ran successfully. We set the string to 249.99. And then we've converted that string to a float of 249.99. And then we've been able to actually use math on this once we've converted that, because now we've got a numerical value. And we have been able to reduce the cost of the TV by 10%. And we can then pass that value back and use that in, say, an e-commerce e store. And that is how you convert any string to a float and then use math on it on Power Automate. That's it from me, Flojo. Check out my blog at flojo.io for more guides on the Power Platform. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.